video where I am going to be sharing my favorites for the month of June. I am rushing to film this video because after this Marco and I need to leave for the airport in like an hour and a half. So please bear with me as I am kind of a little bit all over the place. June had a lot of good new things so I'm excited to share. First thing that I wanted to mention in this video is going to be something that you might have seen if you watched my last video, which is the Dyson Airstreet. I love how easy and quick this makes drying my hair because I have tons of hair. And since that video, I have actually cut my hair. So now, I mean, it's a little bit flattened out, but I have tons of hair and normally it takes forever to dry. If I want to just like wash my hair and dry it straight, it is so easy. So I really, really love the Airstreet. So I'm not using my Dyson Corral anymore, which is their straightener, because the Dyson Airstreet just gets it so sleek and shiny and, again, dries my hair in no time. It next thing is going to be something related to my Airwrap, and this is a Dyson stand that I found on Amazon, and I found one that matched perfectly with my set. I like cohesive colors, and so I found this one on Amazon and loved how clean it makes my station look because otherwise I was just like plopping my situation on top of this like firm living stool that I have and it looks so much more organized this way and it helps me keep it clean. So the cloth has actually been very tidy lately because of the next thing that I'm going to be mentioning on the list. It is my B&B Italia Bellini sofa. And I have wanted a Mario Bellini Camelionda sofa for so long. And I know there's tons of like reps of it and other styles that are super similar or very inspired by the original, but I knew I wanted the original piece. And I love the B&B Italia one because it's so comfortable and you can actually remove the covers and wash them. And I love how modular it is because later on in the future, if I wanted to, you know, like add on to it because it's in a bigger space or Mark, when I move and things change, I can easily add on to it. This one I actually ordered back in January and it just arrived earlier this month or end of last month, something like that. It originally quoted me for like a six to seven month lead time, but I'm surprised at how quickly it actually came. So very excited and I love the way that this makes my office look. I rarely pile on my clothes now because I just love to be able to look at that sofa and sit on it and Wade loves to lounge on it. So win-win in my book. Another thing I wanted to mention for the office because I did spruce it up a bit. Um, I swapped out my curtains to these linen ones from Amazon. And when I was shopping around for linen curtains, places like West Elm, CB2, Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel, all so expensive. So I found these ones on Amazon. I know it's gonna be a hit or miss, but I really, really love these. So I'm gonna link the exact ones down below. And I also got these rings that help make it a little bit more pleated. And it looks so much cleaner and a little bit more high end in my opinion. So really love this setup for my office and I just love being in this space now because it's so calm and soothing. Before it really just started to get so messy because things were just getting dumped in there. So very glad with how everything turned out. I'm gonna rewind back to some beauty products. So first up I wanted to highlight Celine Parade. I don't know if I've included this in a favorites video yet or if it was just in a haul, but this has been my go-to scent for the past few weeks now. And I actually have this in a travel size as well. Currently packed away in my bag because we're flying out tonight, but I love this. I don't even know the notes, but it just smells so clean. It's not floral. It has a bit of like a woodsy scent to it but also a very clean and simple scent to it. It's not overly complex, and I just really love this. Another one that I think I mentioned before is Bois Dormant, and yeah, so this one is Parade. I was saying Parade, and then they told me it's Parade. So this has been my go-to scent as of late. Next up, we have my trusty NARS concealer, which I have switched back to after using Too Faced for a while. I just, you know, I just really love this one. And since it is summer, I've been trying to figure out a good solid base routine 
for the warmer months because I don't want to be putting on foundation. Like today, I just have on my moisturizer, some SPF, and then I went in with a serum and concealer. The serum that I'm actually using for my face is also in my favorites, and it is from Westman Atelier. I will say that this is freaking pricey. This is like $150, and I was like, this better work. I love the Westman Atelier foundation, so I wanted to give this a go. I felt like it could be layered really nicely. I really like the texture and the glow that it gives my skin, so I don't feel the need to put drops, but I feel like if I wanted to do like a little tint, if my skin tone is not looking very even, it would work really nicely, obviously, because it's Westman Atelier plus Westman Atelier. These have made it into my makeup routine for the summer, and I'm really into it. Next is from Caudalie, and it is their You Know Perfect line. So this is their Radiance Serum Complexion Correcting, and I've been using this for few nights now and the brightening eye cream and this one these two I need to pack with me actually all of these I am packing with me but obviously just wanted to show the class for today's video um, I put this on at night so I've been pretty good about my nighttime routine I love that it comes with an application so I don't have to use my hands so this is going in my bag and I'm gonna throw this on during the flight and that's it next up is my new workstation setup and I love it so much. I got the Pro XDR and stand and I have loved working on my projects with this setup. The setup came after I had already finished the Japan vlogs, but it's so nice to be able to see everything on something bigger than a 16 inch screen. So very excited about this setup and using it a bit more. I also recently started to get into mechanical keyboards, which is another thing that I'm mentioning in this video. Something about like the sound and building, I actually built a keyboard and at first it was just so intriguing to me. I think I watched a couple of videos and I was like, what is this? And then I fell down a rabbit hole and here I am with a keyboard that is all neutral called Dalgona from Osumi Keys. I actually have another keyboard as well from Keychron and that's that's a whole nother thing. If we need a tech roundup specifically, let me know. Yeah, I just love this setup so much. I love the sound of it. I'm sure you've seen it in a couple of my vlogs already. It's just such a nice like little setup and I love sitting at my desk because I can actually sit up straight. I'm not slouching on the sofa and it's nice to kind of be in the zone in that space and I just, I love it. I love it so much. Last up for my favorites for the month is something that I treated myself to for my blog's 10 year anniversary. I officially launched my blog on like blogger 10 years ago on May 24th, and I treated myself to this Bulgari Serpenti a two-tone finish. I felt like it just felt a little bit more casual. Like, I love my vintage Cartier watch, don't get me wrong, but sometimes, like, the gold feels a little bit too much. So the two-tone is definitely something that I have loved wearing. This one is also a bit looser, so it's nicer in the summer because the Cartier watch is a bit more snug. There was like a gift card event that I participated in at Bergdorf's and I had a good chunk that went towards this. So I was like, say less. I love this watch. It's so pretty. I thought it was a nice little memento to treat myself for 10 years of launching my blog. This might be a track record for like the fastest I've ever filmed a video because I need to head to the airport. So I need to go pack this stuff I need a change and I will see you guys in Korea. So once again, thank you so much for all of your love and support always. Truly means the world to me and